Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how to add steps to your Elementor Pro form using a paid plugin. This is one of the most powerful and one of the most useful plugins for Elementor. It's called Dynamic Content for Elementor by Dynamic Triple I'll leave a link to that in the description. Once you install and activate it, you can directly add steps to your Elementor Pro forms natively. It doesn't add a new widget. It adds an extension that you can tweak. So once you install and activate dynamic content for Elementor in your Elementor dashboard, when you hover over Elementor, you also get settings for dynamic content. So click on it and you'll be taken to dynamic .triple dashboard. There are a ton of features in it, but you need to make sure that click on extensions and you need to make sure that form steps is selected and click on save extension. And that's it. Once you save this, you can open up any Elementor page, post or a template. So I've opened up a page, I created a new section, I'll click on it, I'll click on the widgets button, I'll just drag in Elementor forms, it's this one, it's the Elementor Pro forms. Once you drag it in, I also have theme styles enabled on my website. So all this styling comes from theme styles, you can click on the hamburger, click on theme styles, I'll leave a link to theme styles video in the description. How do you add steps in it? Well, it's simple. Just click on the form and within form fields, you can duplicate them and you can add as many fields as you want. So let's add maybe, let's add one more field and this time we'll change the text to step. It's that simple. Always you need to make sure that the step field is always at the top of all the fields. So if we're going to add a step above these fields, step one should be above this. So we'll change the label from name to step one we can also make it mandatory it doesn't matter you can change the column width to 40 percent or whatever and here you'll find next and brave don't worry you may not find it in the preview here but we'll click on the eye icon and we'll see how it works and i'll also change this field to step so under type i'll just click on type scroll down and here there's something called step i'll just select step you can do the same thing i'll update it i'll click on preview here we see three fields and there's a button that says next so this is step one let's fill in the fields let's fill in some dummy email and let's click on next and just like that we're taken to the next step and next step consists of these fields so once you submit them you can also go back to the previous step so you click click on previous or you can go to the next step just click on send and just like that your form will be sent it's that simple adding steps to a form Always make sure that step field is at the top of all the fields. So let's change the type of fields here. Let's change this to step two. I'll change this field to a radio button. I'll call it radio one. And when you click on the step field, there are some additional settings for it. Also, you can choose the width of the column or device. So if you want the step at the top of all the fields, you can choose this. And not just this, there are some additional settings for steps. So right under here, when you scroll down, there's something called steps click on it and that will when you choose use label as a legend the step heading will pop up just like that you can also additionally choose to show all steps which is kind of a bummer because you have steps just to make user experience whole lot better and you'd never use this step probably but if you want you can use this you can also show step progress bar it will show on which step user is currently filling his data right here if you want you can disable it i'll update it let's go to the testing page and see how that looks like this is step one again we made it required and when i click on next it won't take me to the next step so i'll fill in my field i'll click on next and here it says step two so legend is nothing but the title or the name of the step field which is step one and step two so here i have these fields set up three step fields and a couple of fields name email select radio and a url field setup so there are actually three steps in total i'll click on update and down here within step settings i also enabled the step progress bar so this is how it will look like this is step one it's showing me that i'm entering data on step one let's fill in some data let's click on next we're on step two and it shows that we are now entering data on step two i'll choose this one and here even when you reach the last step you can either click here to go to the first step or you can click 
or use these navigation buttons that you have at the bottom so you can click go to step 3 by clicking here or you can use these navigation buttons you can also customize these buttons per each step field so i'll go to step 2 and i'll change this to next field we'll update this even this will be updated so the first step has next this is mandatory so let's fill in some data so click on next and it says next field so you can change these labels of the buttons per step you have that customization you also have a step progress bar and under style tab you can also change or tweak all of these so you can see that i have padding for step so step will be treated as a separate field you can have margin for it let's add a board border to it maybe or two pixels width let's pick this color so you can see that you can see that more clearly in the and this is one particular step and just like any other element of field you can target steps using css if you wish to so you can click on step go to advanced and you can change the id and you can paste the short code maybe within your email to show these steps and so on let's also style the step parameters you can also add a background to your step so something like that per step and also change the title alignment you can also change the step navigation buttons from here you can make them extra small small so these let's make them extra large and you can see how they look like you can also change all the various aspects of it even step progress bar you can also change the normal and hover color of step progress bar change the background color text color so let's change the text color for now of the step progress bar let's bring it back to that let's change the background color to this so you can see the step progress bars background color is changed the buttons i'll click on update and there's our multi-step form that we just tweaked using dynamics step extension for elementor pro that's a quick overview of how to make multi-step elementor pro forms well you have a lot of reasons to do this one it's easier to do this on mobile devices two it improves user experience if you put a 10 fields to fill in front of your user he might get scared and he may not fill the form but if you split it into steps he'll be comfortable doing that and steps is also going to be implemented into core elementor version millimeter pro version real soon but elementor dynamic dot triple already has it that's it for now this is the first video on dynamic dot triple o i'll be making a lot of videos on it this is one of the most powerful plugins for Elementor. There is a playlist on the channel called dynamic.triple-o. Do watch it. It will get updated from time to time. See you in the next one. Peace.